I saw this graph and it was like how many days you're actually working just to pay your taxes. Oh. I didn't know. Oh, I never thought about it. I don't want to think about that. You want to, and so I looked it up. The graph was, <laughs> so it was bad. just a calendar and it showed like all of the blue was how many days. It was all the way to half of June. Before you start, before you making start money. making money that oh, you can that spend. Is, oh, so I looked gross. it up because I, like I saw that on Instagram and I was like, "How true is this?" I looked it up. How many days do you work to pay your taxes? This is from the American Tax Foundation. Oh boy, one hundred and eight days out of three hundred and sixty-five are just I'm sick. working to pay your taxes. Ooh. Yeah, the, there's National Tax Freedom Day is April eighteenth. What does that mean? That's whenever. Mm-hmm. I guess you're. Oh, you have you make worked it enough through. to pay oh, your taxes. Once you get past it, oh, 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 you pay your taxes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, now it's now, just now your you're money. working for your money. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. a hard pill to swallow. That one hurts. That does hurt. Okay. I well, have... speaking of, is it? Or do you have something? Else no, to that's say? it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I was that's just right. gonna say. Speaking of, that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. So, welcome to No Dumb Questions, where we scour the internet for. Questions about personal finance that we don't we think don't get answered enough. I'm Reagan. I'm Isaac. I'm Ashton. And yeah, kind of like what you were saying. Yeah. Uh, the first question that's going to dive into the Reddit question that we found was, "What is the biggest expense in your life?" <laughs> and I think we all know the we answer. We already answered it. But outside of taxes, what do you think you guys spend the most money on in your budget? No taxes, no rent. Dog food. <laughs> oh, you have a big dog. <laughs> I, have a great, I do have a big dog. <laughs> yeah, I have an eighty-pound puppy. So yeah. dog puppy. food. Not a puppy. Grown, basically. He's person. one year old. He's, he's a puppy. person. Yeah, he's eighty pounds. That's. Yep, he's a big boy. Small oh baby. my goodness. Mine's Benji. food for myself for yeah, sure. Yeah, I think mine's definitely <laughs> food. Mean. Which is, it's so frustrating. But yeah. Yeah. It is. It's always the biggest one. Yeah. And like, especially when. My wife now stays home with our son, but like when we were both working, the double income was like, and we double income, no kid, dink, we had a dog, dink wad, double income, no kid with a dog. <laughs> uh, we would go out and eat all that. the time. Oh yeah. You can be a dink or you can be a dink wad. I've never heard that either. That's <laughs> new to me. Dual income, no kids. Yeah, I've heard dog. that, but not the dog. With the dog. <laughs> That's great. That's so great. And so we would go out to eat all the time and then, uh. Yeah, we had to have a, a very hard conversation mm-hmm. after a couple months of like, hey, where's all our money going? <laughs> like, we should be balling right now. Yeah. No, we were partying too hard. But so yeah, so it, it is taxes. And the question uh, that we found came from a Reddit post. Someone said, I don't mean to laugh. It's not a dumb question <laughs> at all. Because at, at one point in our lives, it was always We've all had possible. this question. Absolutely. Yeah. Do I have to file my taxes? Mm. was what he asked he was it was some i think he was like 18 or 19 he was like do i have to do it like is there an age and so um i kind of wanted to spin off of that when do you have to file your taxes Mm -hmm. um and so we could take that as dollar amount or age or however y'all want to run with it but well yes you do have to file your taxes let's start there we'll start with that that. (laughs) File your taxes. There is a thing called the standard deduction. Yeah. Um, and so instead of you having to keep track of all of your expenses and things that you can write off and deduct, um, they just the IRS just puts out a number and says, hey, instead of you keeping track of that, just deduct this. And if you think it's more than this number, then you can itemize your deductions. Mm-hmm. The rule of thumb is if you make less than the standard deduction, you technically don't yeah. have to file. So that's kind of the cutoff. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. But if if you're wrong, <laughs> you don't want, <laughs> you to, be want to be wrong. So definitely still file. And when would be, I guess, literally like when yeah. is April, April? By April mm-hmm. of every year a- for the previous? April 15th for the previous year. Um, I almost always have to file the extension. Do you guys do the extension? Or do you no, April 15th? I just, yeah. So you can file an extension and go all the way to October 15th yeah. um, to do it, which is What would be the reason helpful. that you would do that? Um, my CPA is slow. That's what I did. It's like, I, oh, and it's, sometimes it's my fault. Maybe I don't get her all the information, but um, she, gets, she gets backed up. Yeah, and so, I mean, yeah, like you can't, if you have somebody that prepares your taxes 
and you try and call them between like <laughs> the month of like March, end of April, they will not answer the phone. Yeah. <laughs> They're so busy. Oh yeah. Um, and so normally we just expect to file an extension and figure it out sometime before October. Um, but super important. Some of the downsides of not paying your taxes, uh, penalties. Yeah. Jail. 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 <laughs> that, would be, that would be the big one for me. It would be jail. Um, yeah. Do you file your own or do you use a CPA? I I use TurboTax. I don't know mm-hmm. if we can say that. But not, sponsored. not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, <laughs> but I use TurboTax. It's super straightforward. I mean, I think we kind of talked about this maybe mm-hmm. a couple days ago, but mm-hmm. single, one income, just pretty straightforward. It's, it's a W-2. Simple. Like, it's mm-hmm. a simple... I don't have a bunch of 1099s yet, so this is, it's just easier for me to yeah. pay. Than, yeah. I don't even remember. It's like 100 bucks, maybe. I think it was mm-hmm. like 60. I didn't mm-hmm. Maybe, I maybe it was. Yeah, Actually, I, I do like think that's right. That's nice. So that's super <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's nice. I'll venture into it's, the CPA territory well, one day. It's crazy how complicated it makes it. Like if you look at oh, yeah. uh, the, the form that you use to file taxes for an individual, it's a, it's a 1040, mm-hmm. and it looks like you're solving <laughs> equations yeah, it's calculus. crazy yeah. yeah and half of them you leave empty yeah. but they're there anyways no and the first time i i filed my taxes myself my mom got so annoyed because i called her about every five minutes just hey what is this do i like <laughs> can you explain what i need to put in this box yes well, it's no it doesn't apply to you no yeah. it doesn't apply to it's you super like, intimidating if i miss something are they going to show up at my door and like come <laughs> put me in handcuffs like <laughs> yeah. it, it feels that way you know it's totally. Scary. totally it is it is funny have you seen the videos online that it's like Hey, so uh, it's like me filing taxes for the first time. <laughs> it's uh, hey, so what do I? Are you guys gonna tell me how much I owe? Like, no, you have to figure that out for yourself. It's like, okay, well, if I'm off by a little bit, is that all right? It's like, no, we're taking you to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yep. so, but but you know the number, yeah. So can you tell it to me? No. no. <laughs> and that's doing your taxes. Uh, do your taxes. Yeah. So you're doing your taxes. We've mm-hmm. already kind of. You can't avoid them. Mm -hmm. So next best thing, how can I save on my taxes? Yeah. Uh, A couple different ways. The the one that most people are familiar with is is deductions, the standard deduction. Um, Some people, it's kind of the same thing, but like a Mm write-off is a deduction. And that subtracts from the income you're taxed on. So if you're in a certain tax bracket, 12, 24, whatever, um, and it's tiered. We'll get into that later. But um, whatever number is taxed, the deduction comes off of that. So if it's a hundred thousand and you have a twenty thousand dollar deduction, it goes down to eighty thousand dollars of taxable income. Mm-hmm. There's credits actually come off of the amount of taxes that you owe. So it's after you get that percentage. So if you owe a hundred, let's say, or sorry, you made a hundred. Mm-hmm. Let's say you owe twenty. You owe twenty thousand dollars, and you have a ten thousand dollars tax credit. You instead of owing the IRS twenty thousand, you now only owe them ten thousand dollars. So one comes off of the taxes you owe; the other comes off of the income you're reporting. Mm-hmm. Um, and a big thing on social media I see all the time is like write-offs are this magic thing mm-hmm. that like make taxes go away, mm-hmm. and it drives me nuts because I have I have friends that like have student loans. Yeah. And student loan interest, you can write off a certain amount. And I literally had one of my buddies was like, uh, well, I have the money to pay it off, but I get the deduction. So I don't want to pay them off. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's like, you're going to spend, it's like, if you're in the 24% tax bracket, you're spending a hundred dollars to save 24. Yeah. Is how that works. Yeah. And uh, that's just not great math. <laughs> and so <laughs> if I think write-offs are, are very magical, especially yeah. I come from the world of real estate. So yeah. like. They, they do a lot of helpful things, but if sure. if you weren't going to buy it, if you're buying it just because it's a write-off, that's, that's not, silly. that's very silly. Yeah. You're still spending money. It's yeah. like, let me ask you guys this. Okay. Girl math, we're back here. <laughs> we're back. Um, <laughs> if something's on sale, let's say something's $100, it's on sale for $80, what happened? Did you save $20? My dad would say yes, and he would buy five. <laughs> no, you spent $80. You didn't save $20. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. How Depends works. how bad you want it. Were you yeah. already going to get it? See, we're were getting there. Were you already going to get it? Same uh-huh. thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you were already going to get it. If you are already going to get it, then you save $20. $20. Yep. If you weren't going to get it. 
That's the that's the best example. That is the best example of of tax write offs. Yeah. So um, yeah. Real quick before we get into the next, just because you kind of already skimmed it. Sure. I hear a lot of questions about tax brackets and the tiers, like mm, you said. Mm-hmm. If I'm in the twenty four percent bracket, does that mean I'm paying twenty four percent taxes on every dollar that I make? It's an awesome question. Mm. You want to take it? Or you want me to? Go for it. No. Which is great news. Yay. Uh, th- uh, that's another question I got a lot yeah. growing up in my friend group was like, this another crazy one. My friends just need some help. Uh, he said, I got, I got, watching. I hope so. I, I hope they, they are. are. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Uh, hey, I got a promotion, but I turned it down because it would have bumped me into the next tax bracket. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That, uh, that happened. Really? No, mm-hmm. And the, the reason we react that way <laughs> is because it's, they're tiered. So a certain dollar amount yeah. is taxed up to 10%. And then everything after that mm-hmm. is taxed at the next bracket. Yeah. And then once you hit that number, everything after that. So the full amount is not taxed right. at what's called the marginal rate yeah. is, is the tax bracket that you're currently in. Mm-hmm. It's the, the effective rate is the, the average of all those brackets together. Um, and that's more realistic to what you actually yeah. pay. Right. But that's an awesome question. Yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah, I hear it a lot. <laughs> um, we kind of already touched on touched that. on it a little bit, but like when when do you need to seek help with your taxes? I mean, Reagan definitely talked about you know if you if you're single and like one income, mm-hmm. not a whole not a whole lot of side hustles or anything going on where it gets complicated. TurboTax, any yeah. sort of software is is super great to use. Yeah. At what point does it get so complicated that you need to hire somebody out? Yeah, I mean, which I, got, I, yeah, I would say it's, it's kind tough of to answer. It's tough to answer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, single. I'm not supporting anybody or anything like that. Yeah. But even mm-hmm. you know, last year, I had three different jobs when I did my taxes. I was yeah. going through three different jobs that I was reporting. Mm -hmm. And even that was just a little complicated because you have to go, you have to make sure you get all your papers from Mm -hmm. them and all of that. But I knew I I took it upon myself to do it, but someone else might be think that's too much and that's fine, but it just kind of depends. You're going to pay a CPA to do it, or you're going to pay a smaller amount to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Either way you're going to pay. Um, but yeah, it's just complex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like once you get into a higher, income Mm -hmm. that becomes a little more complicated cpas can do a good job of helping you figure out where you can save on your taxes like legitimately and you know work through some of those kinks versus you just trying to input that into turbo tax or whatever yeah i was thinking though of like some college like i was thinking back to college i did i had like a little side hustle Mm -hmm. i didn't you know it wasn't much but it paid for some stuff yeah and what was it Beach body. <laughs> I was a coach. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was really fun. Um, but like I, I got a 1099 from that. Yeah. yeah. And so I remember I, I didn't use the CPA. I used my dad, but mm-hmm. I, I'm thinking like even, especially today, like college kids, you can do a ton of stuff online and make a ton of money mm-hmm. and it can come from all different sources. So even that, like it could get complicated with just those, even if it's not like a full salaried job Yeah, that could be complicated and where you might want to seek someone besides the internet source. For sure. You just know. to make sure you don't go to just jail. Just to make sure yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. go to jail. It's always good. Or that you're not paying you're more, pay- than you, more than yeah. you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah, and they give you that, that refund that they've been holding on to. Yeah, that's right. Not also, paying you interest on the- it. Yeah. Speaking of refund, can yeah. we, because this is another thing that I, even with my friends, I have to explain them explain to them that they have the wrong mindset about yeah. it, mm. is getting a refund. Because. Is it's not it's ideal. not free money it's that not, you're just getting back. It's actually a back. bad thing. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah. It's so I was at a dinner party with some of my friends, and it was right after tax season, and it was funny because I was just sitting there, and they they're all in very different industries than mm-hmm. finance, and they were like, "I only got a sixty five dollar refund, or I got a twelve hundred dollar refund." Oh my goodness, how did you do that? And someone was like, "Well, I had to pay money in," and all of them, and they were just bickering, and I was like, "Guys." The, like she's actually doing it right the one who had to pay you money pay. in they're like uh-huh. what do you mean because 
I got $300 back. Like, why would I want that? So when you get a refund, what does that mean? What does that actually mean for you? You want to explain? Yeah, you paid, yeah, you you paid, paid too, much. too much. You yeah. let the government borrow money yeah. interest-free yeah. until they gave it back to you yeah. is what that means. Yeah. You, gave, you gave too much in taxes and they're giving you a refund and it feels like this magical thing. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's really not. Because if, if, you, if you think about it in, in an example and let's say you get a $1,000 refund mm-hmm. – and you're super stoked, but they've had that for, I don't know, four months until April, right? Yeah. Let's say you paid at the end of the year, yeah. um, which it's actually more if it's getting withheld. If you would have put that in a savings account making 5%, that's yeah. $50 you're not going to get back. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, refunds, while they feel fun, are they are, they're not super magical. Something we need to do next episode with like retirement plans and and – like 401ks and stuff, Mm -hmm. lowering taxable income would be awesome to to bring up in the next one for sure. Let's see what the quote of the day is, huh? (laughs) Oh, Oh, I haven't even looked. I'm just going to be surprised. A day without sunshine is night. Oh my God. <laughs> Steve Martin. <laughs> Steve. Thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> Leave your questions in the comments and we will see you next time. Bye guys.